Well, hello everyone. Welcome to webpianoteacher.com. We're going to do Dreams by Fleetwood Mac today. I almost said Stevie Nicks. <laughs> and we're going to use a neat keyboard sound on the Kawhi MP11 SC in the mm -hmm. studio. So we have... so forth you know the song all right so guys we're going to do the part one here and if you have an a Kawhi mp11 se and you want or just a mp11 doesn't have to be se um there's a cool sound i like to use on this it's in the second bank here and it's the second electric in the electric piano second section it's the second choice um i have to lift the monitor off to really show you maybe i'll do that one day but it just it's a neat sound it really makes me think 70s because i like the you can play real soft and kind of chord along like this you know so you can but then you can also give it a little more attack Who knows that? <laughs> Put in the comment if you know what that is. Okay, you got to know what that is. Yeah, great, great. So we're going to go to the overhead view now. Okay, quit looking at me and <laughs> let's look at what we're going to do today. Okay. Uh, one more little bit of advice, though, before we get started here. As you're searching for a sound that you want to sound like this song, don't get too hung up on getting an exact match because then you miss out on music by spending all day working on, you know, trying to get the exact sound where you can't even hear if the difference between two sounds anymore because you beat your brain so much trying to do it. Um, just get something close and have fun with it, right? Because I've done that and, um, where I wasted time just trying to find the perfect sound. Get something close and then go with it. Okay, we have two chords for the whole song, yes. F in the left hand, then I have E, A, C. You can't see the first F there. It's kind of cut off the way I zoomed in. But it's... So we're going left, right, left, left, right, left. So get that down. Left, right, left, left, right, left. And then we have a G. Now I had a low G because I was playing it on piano sound originally, which you don't need to do that on this electric piano sound, so you can go... You just go G and then right hand can do a D and then play the whole chord. Like that. Sometimes Christine will play an F there instead. Okay, so that really is the song, two chords there. And, yeah, you could play that the whole way through, and it would work. Of course, there are other things that I'm going to show you in the lessons on, on the website. Um, and if remember, if you are a member of WebPianoTeacher.com, you can download my sheets. That's very helpful when you're practicing. I've also done, uh, just lately, just yesterday, I did um, Don't Stop. Um, so that lesson series is on there as well. So if you like this album, Rumors, got two on there uh, already that you're going to love and more in store coming up. Um, so there's our part one lesson. Hope you enjoyed that. See you on the website. And again, if you, any of you would like to do Zoom lessons with me or have a hired request, um, the, the hired request minimum is $300. The Zoom lesson for an hour is $100. Um, and that can be on anything in my library on the website that you want to learn. Or if you have sheet music, I'll do anything. So if you have the sheet music to something, we'll do a lesson on that or anything that's in the library on webpianoteacher.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part one lesson. Talk to you later.